The city of Box Elder is growing quickly and businesses are eager to set up shop in West River's second largest city. Brad Walton tells us how Box Elder's businesses and government are working to support convenience for locals and attract tourists. Box Elder has grown substantially in the last decade, and recent developments at Ellsworth Air Force Base have accelerated that growth. That planned growth, if you want to call it that, with the influx and personnel increase on base with the approach of the B-21 bomber certainly adds to the growth in the city. More airmen will be stationed at Ellsworth once the stealth bomber arrives, and many new businesses have joined Box Elder's Chamber of Commerce. Uh, right before the B-21 was announced, there were probably 14 members. We have 120 members now. Box Elder's newest addition is a Circle K gas station next to City Hall, convenient for people living nearby. They can go up in the hills, they can go into Rapid for more shopping, um, but we want the basic things to be right here in Box Elder. Sentinel Federal Credit Union has a storied history in Box Elder, beginning 69 years ago on Ellsworth Air Force Base. Box Elder is just growing phenomenally, and it's it's cool. It's it's really exciting to be part of that. Sentinel will host a groundbreaking ceremony Monday for a new branch closer to most of Box Elder's population. Vorhees is looking for another business to join them in the building. And let's say you're dropped into town, and you're like, hey, there's a Jimmy John's. You know, let's go there and grab a sandwich. And wow, right next is is a credit union. Mayor Larson also wants Box Elder to become more of a tourism hub. The Air and Space Museum will reopen later this month, and plans are in place to construct a craft brewery. Of course, we are working on our Children's Museum. That's going to be a big deal. Uh, that'll also make Box Elder a destination. Larson said infrastructure updates will be needed to accommodate the growing population, but he is excited for the future of his city. Reporting for Coda Territory News, I'm Brad Walton.